everyone, this is uh, G&G Armament and Charlie with uh, Airsoft Obsessed Dave and we're here at Tax City South and uh, you were at our facility yesterday doing their CB course with Evike Matt. Uh, how'd you like it? Uh, you know, the course was awesome. Uh, you know, I'll have to admit it was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. You know, you, you see kind of things set up with targets and whatnot and you're like, oh, alright, that'll be cool. but. You know, once you get in and once you do it, man, like, it is way cooler than what, like, you think it is from the start. Uh, the, the competitive juices start flowing and you're, like, amped up by the time you're done. You're like, okay, we got to go back and do it again because we can do this better, we can do that better. And I, it was a lot of fun. I totally want to do it again. Yeah. So if uh, I'm not mistaken, you guys had the best time um, and beat some people uh, in the Maybe, industry possibly. with a, a, minute and 40, 40, a minute and 47 seconds, correct? Yeah, yeah. We, we might have beaten a few people you heard of, <clears throat> Nilsson West. Yeah. But um, but no, it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, Evike, Matt, and I, uh, we, we really we, we nailed it. We got lucky. <laughs> so uh, you didn't have a chance to do the 5x5 five five yesterday at our facility, so we have it here at Tax City. Uh, what are going to be your initial thoughts from seeing the other people compete uh, on it already? Well, you know, I mean, the 5x5 five five kind of intimidates me a little bit. I mean, uh, you know, that's... You got to have a lot of good muscle memory and know where your gun's shooting to, to kind of hit all those targets and sequence and the fact that you know they're randomized you don't know where it's coming i mean i don't know i mean hopefully i can do all right on it so you just competed through the five by five shooting competition how was it it was cool. It was cool. I, I may or may not have had another good score. I'm just saying, yeah. sorry, Tom. Things happen. But no, that was cool. Uh, you do mostly Nilsson events, so utilizing this uh, training uh, as a training tool, how do you think it will help you during for like Nilsson events that you normally do throughout the throughout the year? Well, you know, like the first one that pops in the head is uh, American Nilsson's Faded Giant that's coming up, uh, and that one, you know, a lot of gameplay happens inside the big building there, and being able to like quickly acquire a small target because if you're in a hallway you know you're you're not going to get a whole silhouette of a person most of the time you're going to catch just a little bit of a head or a body and you got to be able to you know put a bb on target in a hurry so i could definitely see like practicing this would certainly help in situations like that well that, that's great to hear that that's a great training tool for not only airsofters but also mill simmers uh, to encompass that in your training uh, skill set so uh, make sure to uh, check our website out at way2.com for additional 5x5 shooting competition tournament dates and also for more additional information on our World Cup shooting competition that we're going to be having in Taiwan on November 14th and 15th. Uh, thanks again for participating thanks, Dave man. and uh, we'll see you guys later.